Hey guys, it's Christina here. Um, I had a crazy fun idea that I would try using a full face using only Jeffree Star. So that includes doing my eyebrows with his stuff, you know, my full face with his stuff. And mind you, Jeffree doesn't have all the stuff to do. So that's part of the challenge. Um, so I think I've already primed my face and lotioned my face because, you know, <laughs> That's not gonna happen with just Jeffree Star stuff. <laughs> That's just not fun. Um, and this is probably the first time you guys have ever seen me without makeup on. That's, that's, that's interesting. Um, but thank you for joining in my channel. Thank you for watching my ch channel. Um, and if you want to become a member of this weird family, very small family right now, but still cool and weird, because I'm a weirdo, just hit that subscribe button down below um and so let's get started okay so this is my concealer by Jeffree Star you know it's adorable cute um I'm pretty pale so um I'm shade C1 so what I'm afraid is because you know concealer is used to brighten yourself um, I'm afraid that I'm gonna look even whiter because I'm gonna have a full face with this but what I'm hoping is with contour and bronzer and whatnot we will darken up our face or not it'll be a complete disaster who knows oh and his new concealer is very like, look how much I'm getting out. And I've only dipped in once. I'm sure I'll need to dip in again for... See the, see the tone difference? Oh, and my face looks red. <laughs> it does that when uh, I rub it. So anytime I put on lotion or wash my face. My face is always immediately red afterwards. Go me. So I'm just going to take my mirror and blend in this concealer with my foundation brush. feels so strange going over my um, eyelids when you have contacts in with makeup or makeup brushes. It's like you can almost feel the contact just ever so slightly move and then go back into place. It's very strange. Oh, I definitely, oh, I definitely look paler. But, like I said, we knew that was going to happen. And it's definitely not like super full coverage like I'm used to. So I'm going to reapply it in some areas that need it. Sorry. <laughs> some spill on the ground and I was like, what? I think I'm now going to apply it like I would with like a normal concealer. Just a tiny bit more. How was your guys' weekends? Well, I guess weekend isn't over yet. It's Sunday right now. So mine has been working. Mm. 
today I go in at seven. So, oh, make sure we get down below the neck. I see that quite a bit with everybody not blending in their neck. It's like, come on. I've seen girls where this part isn't like they, they stopped makeup right over here and then they didn't go beyond their ears and if you have to have your ears exposed every day like say you wear a hat at work no shade no tea yeah Yeah, that second layer definitely helped. You know, and what's fascinating about this concealer is it stays kind of like wet until you blend it out. So what I'm doing is I'm taking a small sponge and then I take MAC Prep and Prime and then I spray it on there. And then I blended my concealer. I don't even know if I need to do this with Jeffrey stuff. Well, when it comes to getting the nitty gritty, I don't know. I'm going to pretend I put on my foundation <laughs> and put on my um, concealer now. So next I always do setting powder. And we'll take the Jeffree Star Morphe setting powder brush and go light handed on this stuff. Because it definitely not a thin powder. It does smell like candy, like cotton candy. Or as the British people call it, candy floss, which is hilarious. Don't inhale any of your setting powders, no matter what brand it is. I could je see Jeffrey coming out with a foundation. But I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. I can't wait to see what he does for his summer looks or summer stuff. He's gotta slow down. <laughs> All right. So then, normally, what I do afterwards is I do my eyebrows. But because we're only using Jeffree Star stuff, we're gonna have to do something else. So what I'm gonna do? Let me take a card. I swear, everything I touches, I touches, touch, um, falls over. So I'm gonna take Thirsty Palette. Probably in this shade, um, sub subtle, sub subtle, subtitle, subtitle, I think, and uh, drizzle, and do my eyebrows with them. I haven't done powder eyebrows in a long time, so I'm gonna take my obviously Jeffrey Morphe brush. I'm gonna take the spoolie and brush my eyebrows upwards. Um, 
And brushing your eyebrows upwards when you have hooded eyes actually gives you a little bit more space on your eyelids. Fun tip. Okay, so subtitle is coming out a little orangey brown. So I'm going to go do drizzle now. They're both coming out orangey brown. I look like I dyed my eyebrow orange. Okay. Cool beans. Cool beans. <sighs> I think what I'm going to do. See here, I thought this was going to be easy. Oh, the browns are, are so brown in the Jeffree Star palette. Nothing. I think what I'm going to do is take black from Alien palette. So the other reason why I'm doing it this early in the morning, uh, so just in case I look horrendous, I can uh, wipe it up and do it again for actual work. Well, that side's not as bad. Oops, sorry if I hit the mic and it made noise. That side's not as bad. I use I use cream. Oh, excuse me. I hiccuped. I use sorry cream. I use uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills eyebrow cream and whatnot. I'm just going to take the slightest amount of the concealer that we were using earlier. <sighs> yeah, whenever that happens, where are you? Have it show up on your skin like that. I just slightly rub it down. What does say? <laughs> just looking at my eyebrow difference. <laughs> oh man. And normally I'm not not horrible at doing my eyebrows. I mean who knows? I could be. And no one's ever told me. My eyebrows have a lot of uh play in them. <laughs> I think that's as bad as good as we're gonna get with brows because here I thought um, thirsty palette was gonna be the key but those browns have quite a bit of tint of orange inside them which makes sense because the palette's kind of like an orangey thing going on all right so next I always um, 
do blush next. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna, yeah, okay. So taste buds is a little bit orange. Let me look at blood sugar. Cause I know, I mean, highlighter is gonna be easy for these. Let's see about tongue pop. Tongue pop and taste buds are very close, but I think I like taste the tongue pop better. Oh, she pigmented. contouring and bronzer but I'm so afraid. Uh. I think if I do some like really light yeah see that's really light. I think because I was doing it in such a concentrated area Yeah, that worked. So I'm thinking I'm gonna take drizzle for. I'm, I'm gonna first see if I can use it. All right, drizzle. I know. Oh, the jaw. Oh. <laughs> the fish lady. Um. Then I always do my under jaw area. Oh, and then. I'm weird. I like to take blush and put it on my nose, my forehead. And my chin. Just to give myself some natural glow again. I think we're done with the thirsty palette, thank God. <laughs> Not in like a bad thank God way, but like one step out of the way. Like, I really don't think it looks too bad. Oh, I forgot. You know what I did forget to do? I forgot to contour my nose. That is actually one area I forget to contour all the time. So highlighter is probably next. Oh, sorry. I apologize. I think I'm gonna do a uh, highlighter from over here. So actually what I do next is I take um, Mario Badsquiz. I can't pronounce the last name. That's the product. So I spray that all over my face. Mm, just to add some moisturizer back into my face because I have a naturally dry face and then so all the little dots you see on my hat face I just blend them back in with a beauty blender I make sure your foundation So I think I'm going to take Interstellar. Definitely put too much on my brush. I 
I mean, look at that. I don't own any of Jeffree Star's highlighters yet. Give me time. There's a rumor that he's going to go into all the stars. I mean, he had that Snapchat of the all the Alta store managers convention. And you're just like, what are you doing? So I always put it right above there with the eyebrow bow. <laughs> so saturated. Look at that. I am highlighted to the gods. All right, that was fun. So I think today I'm gonna use blue blood because I feel like just using everything possible. All right, so I think I'm gonna take blue blood. All right, I'm gonna take celebrity skin. Sorry I'm so quiet today. I just, I'm, I wouldn't say I'm super tired, but I am. I'm pretty tired. God, I love this color. It blends so well. I mean, do you see that? Blend my wife away. I'm just looking at what the concealer did to like the larger areas. I'm not saying it didn't like conceal over it, but it did such a light amount. I mean, I'm not complaining. Sometimes, you know, you need a little bit of a lighter day on stuff. <laughs> I'm going to take um, Priceless on the same brush. It's okay if they if it has a residual celebrity skin. You know what I need to do? I need to do that taped off look where they put a piece of tape right there. You know? I need to try that. <sighs> I haven't used Undertaker. I've used Cremated, I think. Let's turn out to be a smoky look. I love it. Just taking a blending brush. Blending Undertaker and Celebrity Skin together. So I think I'm going to put something in the middle, like a, like, I don't know, maybe ocean ice or something. 
Or maybe ocean ice is too bright for this. Mm -hmm. You need to conceal when you have ocean ice down. Is everyone ready for summer? Because I'm not. I'm actually not a summer person. At all. I like the winter and I like the fall. Trying to deepen up that crease because ocean ice just kind of like took over. No, no. Some of it you guys are, are you summer people or not. I'm gonna take um Kellen? Kellen Kellen something. It it's the shiny one. And just put that in my brow bone. And a little bit in the corner of my eye. Let's be honest, blues are hard to work with. Trying to slowly build up that crease. Alright. So now for the bottom eye line. I think I finally figured it out. <laughs> oh, such a good running joke. I'm going to put Undertaker down there. I think a little bit of celebrity skin just to tie it in with the rest of my look. Sorry if I was off camera. One day I'll have a better camera than my iPhone. I like that. Surprisingly I do. So what I'm going to do is I'll do the other camera. Okay. So this is the finished look. The only thing I did that wasn't Jeffree Star was put on uh, mascara. And you know, that's needed. If you don't have mascara on, what's, what are you doing with life? <laughs> I mean, you don't have to wear mascara, obviously. But anyways, um, I think this was fun. I think it's a challenge. Um, and if you have enough Jeffree Star products, you can do it yourself. And if you do, tag me in it. Tag Makeup Make It underscore at Instagram or Twitter and I would love to see your guys' work. 
um and maybe this can be a fun new challenge that we start because i could not find anyone else who did a full face jeffrey star look and i was like ooh, <laughs> be the first um but thank you for watching and liking this video um make sure you hit the subscribe button please at the bottom um we're getting there um and i hope you enjoy the rest of your day Mwah.